Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here doing a little vlog of sorts and I just realized I need to move my medical bag and my plate carrier to the left side so it'll be out of the way. So, I felt like doing a little vlog, I haven't really talked to you guys in a while. So what I've been up to is I've modified my belt this year. So I've basically, since Tengon's the only real field in Okinawa at the moment, I've modified it in a more simplistic manner. So I've got a inverted magazine pouch here so I can quickly swap out a mag and load in a new one as so. So that's pretty cool. So basically I only need two mags because Tengon's a small field anyway. At most, if even that. So grenade. I've got a Thunder Bee in here for the hell of it. Uh, dump pouch, per usual. Goblin. Uh, grenade, grenade pouch full of extra goblin shells and multi-tool. So I'll probably take these off and put a uh, shotgun shell pouch over here so I can access it from the right hand to reload. So that's an option and I could probably just keep these shells in there. Yeah, I could move the multi-tool off to the left side. Okay, so cool. We've got things happening. I've ordered a Safari Land drop leg holster so we'll see how that comes along. Looking forward to testing that out and yeah, actually uh, the uh, demon of Ogimi, Riker, is sending me a uh, pair of, uh, what are they called? Oh, I'm doing a blank. I worked, uh, worked overtime today, so don't mind any blank expressions. It's a uh, cry precision trousers. So they've actually got a built-in magazine pocket, so I might just, uh, might actually take this off and start using that, which will save up more belt space. And then if the pistol thing works out, I'll probably move the pistol over to here, move the uh, goblin up to the uh, chest, uh, yeah, the uh, plate carrier, and yeah, we'll see how that all goes. So, that's all I have for you guys so far, but in addition, since I'll be, ah, Mr. I, since we'll be playing at Tengan, is I went out, and I actually haven't used this very often, since everything's on the belt, I can actually use this. This is the jacket comma insect repellent and there's all the data right there if you're interested I was able to quite fortunately pick this up for about ten dollars for the price spiked up so basically this is a bug repellent mesh so it's basically designed to physically keep bugs off of you button up here on the sleeve let's put this one on so we're gonna throw this on real quick so with Tengon there's lots of brush and vegetation outside of the bunkers, meaning that if one were so inclined, they would be able to sneak in there and basically just disappear and start unleashing all manner of hell. Now there's some people, some particular individuals who are already going out and uh, throwing on mesh, basically just camping in bushes. Now. Camping isn't really my favorite sort of thing. It's sort of a stagnation. Um, entropy and all that. So, by throwing this on over my lovely Airsoft 97 shirt. Pull the hood up. There we go. And hood on. And whoosh. We have our beginning mesh set. Let me buckle these uh, sleeves real quick. I'm going to do this after work because I'm already covered in sweat. They don't want to get this dirty. I did use this up in, uh, whatchamacallit, up in Hive during the short period of time. It was open and it works phenomenally. But as you can see, it works better without a plate carrier. If you wore a plate carrier under it, it would give you concealment, but you wouldn't be able to reach your mags. And you can wear the plate carrier over it. It's not the best. And as you see, the little mesh is fairly visible. If you wore a tiger stripe or any camouflage pattern, I'm just going to wear a normal OD green under it. But yeah, it should blend them pretty nicely and make you look like a moss-covered brush. Now this, mix in with the standard sniper mesh sort of thing. So this is basically a uh, budget sniper DMR sort of setup thing we're looking at. Now I can still see through this just fine and it'll reduce glare on my face. So if I were feeling so inclined, eh, I could throw this over here like so, and then wrap this part around my head. As so. Now, I am a bush. No, believe it or not, I can still see you. I can still see you just, I can still see you just fine. I can tell you there's Splatoon figures up there, followed by Yoshi figures, is that thing. 
it's actually not a huge hindrance to my vision. And it's also going to cut down on glare, so I have effectively reduced the issue of Googles. Goggles. Googles. You get the idea. And as you can see, if we scroll slightly downward, I still have full access to grenade. I've got my magazine in a readily available position, and I can access all my belt stuff. So I'm basically taking a Black Hat's approach and going full on baller with it. So now I am a ghost. I'm doing Black Hat's job and we'll see if I do it better than him if you're watching. Challenge. So yes, so I've got that. Mix that with the SR-16 here. And throw on gloves naturally, so brown hands and then just hide in the bush and wait. Maybe wait like this. More invisible and just hide up in the brush. So someone comes by. Then slowly, with the wind, as Carlos Hathcock would say, advance on the enemy position. So! Ah. I am invisible. Yes. I'm not sure how I feel about this grenade patch. I'm going to have to move all this gear around, because if I move the medical pouch from the right side, where it's currently covering my extra gear here, Move it to the left, it'll be over my dump pouch, which means it's out of the way because the dump pouch doesn't need to be very high or anything. So, that's what happened. Additionally, despite the fact that this is relatively hot, it's not nearly as hot as real plates and a Kevlar, so... Ooh, I guess that does lead the problem. Do I want to put a camera on the side of it for visibility, I guess? I don't know how it'll record, so... We'll see what happens. Oh shit, it's a person, it's not a plant! I know, pretty clever. I surprised myself. So yeah, so basically instead of going on full-on Sniper Gilly, we have kind of a DMR stealthy ghost approach, which I think is pretty cool, which is actually the whole reason I bought this. So yeah, there's, there's that. Mostly been busy with work and shenanigans and antics and stuff. I do have a... Uh, a review or two I'd like to make today before everything's said and done, but I definitely want to, you know, kind of hang out, talk with you guys for a bit, show you my cool disappear into the bush plan, because the enemy team usually has a sniper guy, so I'm going to be a counter bushman DMR. So yeah, kind of weird mix between Takamine-san and Black Hat, lightweight scout. See what happens. So yeah, still got the plate carrier. I gotta move Basically, hold on, let me... So, for explanative, for demonstrative purposes only, this is still heavy, just two plates, this medical pouch is sitting over all my gear on the right here, so if I move it off to this side, it'll be out of the way, and I can put everything in my dump pouch. Oh yeah, my uh, fun new patch came in. Yeah. Please do not question the causes I choose to take up. It'll waste your time, it'll waste my time, it's wasting our time right now, so let's move on. I ordered, which I'm actually excited to do the review on, a fancy speed loader that looks like a futuristic Halo shotgun nightmare thing. So yeah, the magazine goes in there, it rattles like hell, and it's made by Elite Force. So, I'll probably be filming that review here momentarily with this cool little thing and see how that comes out. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, the other thing. I'll probably just put the camera on the side of my tan hat here so that gives me additional blending. Although I think without the hat it works better. Yeah, it probably works better without the hat. I do like not having sun in my eyes, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how that duck. If the drop flex adapter works the way I think it's going to, which of course I'll be making another review. Yeah, I'm gonna move all this out of the way. And then, I don't know. I don't know where we're gonna put extra pistol legs. I guess I could put on the left side. And the grenades could probably sit up on the right side and then still be out of the way of the adapter for the most part. I don't know. We'll see how it all goes in the end, so. That's that, and uh, yeah, so. That's pretty much the update. I have some cool stuff on the way I'll be doing reviews on. But in the meantime, it's really just the uh, speed loader. And yeah, so that's about it. Stay chill for everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.